Back to stormy weather around Southern California. We got some snow in our local mountains to our north. There's a lot more snow. Big Bear got several inches overnight and more is expected. Crews are clearing the roads so people can get up and down the mountain. Drivers are required to use chains on the slick and icy roads and some areas are also seeing mudslides and rock slides because of the wet weather. So if you're planning a trip, make sure to check out those road closures. And our Victoria Johnson's been checking those conditions all day long. All day long, and it's such a nice sight to see. This video is from Kyle Newman up in Big Bear. You can see that they did get a lot of snow with this system that rolled on through. Uh, they could get up to about four inches or so tonight. So far, Big Bear has received about 10 inches of snow, Lake Arrowhead up to a foot, and then Running Springs close by there about eight inches. So the winter storm warning, winter weather advisory in the area, they just expired. Showers, snow showers slowly starting to taper off tonight into Monday morning. However, coming up for the uh, temperatures getting well into the teens for the next few days. As for uh, the Southern California area, the rain, the snow still rolling on through. Uh, you can see it still falling there up in the Big Bear area and Wrightwood. As for how much snow we've seen in our neck of the woods, Palomar about three inches, Mount Laguna about three to four inches or so. So a good amount for this first system rolling on through. We're seeing more rain activity off to the east and to the north. You can see a good amount there. Some heavier cells popping up throughout Oceanside, getting into Bonzel and Fallbrook, pushing into Valley Center down that 15 corridor in our mountain areas, especially in those coastal foothills, Alpine out Interstate 8, and then Mount Laguna, a little bit of snow, then pushing out into the desert. So showers tonight, snow showers tapering off uh, from the north to the south. Winter weather advisory continues into Monday morning, as well as a high surf advisory up and down our coastline for some pretty big surf. But at least the wind advisory and high wind warning has expired. Coming up, I'll talk a little bit more about how long this is expected to stick around.